Today we're going to be looking at the DJI mics too. All right, so we're going to take a look at the back of the box really quickly just to show you the features it come with. You have an all-in-one system, which is one of the main reasons why I like the first ones, which is these right here. And as you can see, these has been good to me. Honestly, I have no reason to upgrade except for one specific reason that I'm upgrading from these. And I'll share that with you in a second. You see high quality audio recording, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people can say that. You have an 18-hour battery life. And this one wasn't 18 hours, but when I tell you I had no problems with it, I had no problems with the battery life on it. Then you can see intelligent noise counseling, which I'm going to try it out, but honestly, I don't think I would use it. I just prefer to do that myself. And then you have 32-bit float, which is the main reason why I picked these up because 32-bit float is like the best in my personal opinion and it's the best way to get the best quality so you don't have to worry about if it's too high or too low you can raise it up without raising your noise floor then you have 250 millimeters meaning you can walk up to 200 or 820 feet away from it and still catch a signal so that's pretty cool let's unbox it all right so i'm just gonna open it up really quickly we're gonna close that up we can peel off this tab. All right, this is everything that comes in a box. You have your instruction, instruction packages right here, which I'm pretty sure that, honestly, I never really use my instructions, but you do have it if you want to refer to it. You have your documentation, which is right here. We're going to drop that back in the box. You have the stuff that they say do not eat. And then this is the mic itself right here. And fresh out the box, you can see if we just comparing it to this, it is way bigger, way, way bigger. This is much heavier as well. Like this, the build quality on here is, it's insane. It feels like the tank actually, like it's, it is sturdy. So we can move that, push this, and that's, that's it right there. They instantly come on. We can see that I need to charge them. And just looking at this, we're going to put this to the side. Well, actually, we're going to look at everything else it comes with. We got another gel package. We have, let's see here. This is our windscreen. This is, okay, looks like they gave us two windscreens. Yep, this is a windscreen right here. And let's see if this is a windscreen as well. Yep, this is another windscreen. And when we take a look back here, we have our cable to actually connect it. Now, I do like that this goes sideways versus straight on. So I like that it goes sideways. And I like one of the, I'm glad they kept that little bend that you can actually bend it the way you want it. You can have the cable the way you want and it'll stay and not fall. That's a quality of life feature that I've liked with the other one, with the ones. And then we have the USB-C to USB-A cable, which honestly, I will never use that. And that's everything that comes comes in the pack, which is fairly simple. I like that they give us two windscreens. That's pretty cool. We're gonna put that to the side and we're gonna just take a look at this really quickly. Now, right off the back, I can see that honestly, this looks good. I like it. You can see that it's asking me basically, oh, I can use this to control it and it doubles. Does it double as a button? No, it does not. So I can click right there. Today is the 24th, 2024. So actually the first is actually today is the 31st, the day before my birthday. The time is six. I wonder if this military time. Yes, it is. Okay, so it's 641 and now it's set. Now, honestly, this is very small. I can't show you the receiver on here because I'm actually using it right now, but the biggest difference I see is this button. It's a little bit wider. This comes off way easier on the last one. I never took this piece off because I was afraid to break it. So I never, ever took it off. So the fact that this comes off super easy, that's nice. I can see it takes a USB-C in the back if I wanted to charge it. Now, this right here, that looks pretty good. I like the fact that this is translucent. I like the fact that I can actually take this off now. This right here is awesome because I actually use, to have this one on me right here, what I'm actually using is a tie clip. And I'm clipping, I'm putting the tie clip on first, and then I'm attaching this to the tie clip. So to be able to have this feature where it automatically comes off and goes on, yeah, I like that a lot. That's pretty cool. Overall, I mean, it's really simple if I'm being completely honest with you. The build quality is good, and yeah, I don't like the fact that it's much bigger. 
Like, I don't like the fact that it got bigger, but I get it. If this case charges for 18 hours now, I guess they put a bigger battery in the case. So that makes sense. But honestly, I wouldn't have mind them keeping it at this size right here because this was already pretty chunky. I like this minimum branding with DJI. But this is very big and in your face. And this is definitely going to take up more room in your bag. But I guess considering that you can get rid of whatever microphone you're currently using. Like for me, I got rid of the Rode GoPro. So it was kind of cool. The steel wouldn't be as big as the GoPro. So it's great. It's okay. I can't wait to actually put it to the test and see how it do. But as it stands right now, I mean, the... It's not that heavy. I like the fact that I like the fact that it how it looks. It looks pretty good. And honestly, that's all I got for you in this unboxing because I really won't know much more until I see it. But my first impression of it, I like it. I'm gonna put it on the charger right now. And yeah, I'm gonna see see how I like it. Till next time. Later.